It was Christmas Day in the trenches in Spain, in Peninsula War. And Sam Small were cleaning his musket, a job he had never done before. There'd been an inspection that morning and Sam were put in disgrace. When Sergeant looked down the barrel, a sparrow flew into his face. The Sergeant reported the matter to Lieutenant Bird then and there. Said Lieutenant, this is disgusting. The Duke must be told of this here. The Duke was surprised when he heard. He said, I'm astonished I am. I must make a drastic example. There'll be no Christmas pudding for Sam. When Sam were informed of the sentence, surprise rooted him to the spot. It were much worse than he had expected. He thought as he'd only be shot. And so he sat cleaning his musket, a polishing barrel and butt, while the crisp, while the pudding his mother had sent him lay there in the mud by his foot. Now, the centre that Sam's lot was old in ran around a town called Badayos, where the Spaniards had put up a bastion. And, oh, what a bastion it was. They pounded all day before dinner with cannonball, well, no, they, with, with, with canister, grape shot and ball. But the face of the bastion defied them. They made no impression at all. They started again after dinner and bombarded as hard as they could. The Duke brought his own private cannon. But that were no bloody good. Duke said to Sam, put down thy musket and help me to lay this gun true. Sam said, you best cast your favours of them you give pudding do. Duke looked at Sam so reproachful. And don't take it that way, said he. Us generals must make an impression. It hurts me more than it hurts thee. Sam sniffed at these words, kind of sceptic, and looked down at the Duke's private gun. He said, we're best put in two charges. We'll never bust Bastion with one. He took cannonball out at muzzle. He took out the wadding and all. He filled barrel chock full of powder, then picked up and put back the ball. He took careful aim down the barrel and said, Right, O Duke, let her fly. The canyon near jumped off its trunnions, and up went the bastion sky eye. The Duke, he were really elated. He danced round the trenches in key, said Sam, for this gallant action, you can hot up your pudding for tea. Sam looked around for the pudding. Sam looked around for the pudding, but it wasn't there, nowhere about. In the place where he thought he had left it was a cannonball he just tipped out. Sam saw in a flash what had happened. By an unprecedented mishap, the pudding his mother had sent him had blown Badaios off the map. That's why fusiliers wear, to this moment, a badge that they think's a grenade. But it's not. It's a brass reproduction of the pudding Sam's mother once made.